everybody. Welcome to Core Kids Revival TV. I am so excited about today. Listen, like sometimes I feel like I need to say parental discretion advise, but literally we're reading out of the Bible. We're going to read a story that is just absolutely mind blowing. And we're going to talk about how God feels about idol worshipers and somebody needs to thank God for his grace and mercy now because boy back in the day in the Old Testament you didn't want to play with God we're gonna find out what happened to a group of people today when they decided to rebel against God and have idols before him and so I am really excited I mean look where I'm at I am literally in the wilderness this is where Moses and the Israelites camped out. This is where they were going from place to place and with putting up their, their tents and following the cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. Oh my goodness. And it is intense out here. The people, they got all kinds of things going on. So before we get into this, let me just say really quick, please, please, Please go download the app. We've got a new Core Kid app. Man, this thing is bad to the bone. When I tell you, you can get on the Core, the, the Core Kid app, the Core Group app. I hope I didn't confuse people. It's the Core Group app, the Core Group, the Core Group for men, women, children, adults, dogs, cats, birds, everybody. Got this app and the app is going to have a little section in it just for the Core Kids because you already know I got you, right? I'm not leaving the core kids out of nothing. Core kids are my kids. I need a shirt that says that. Someone make me that. The core kids are my kids. I love my kids. I love my core kids. So I had to put a section in the app. I literally created and designed the app myself. Good job, Jenny. I uh, gotta encourage myself. Yeah, so I've got the app on my phone. And anytime I wanna know what's going on, I can just go to my handy dandy core group app. Look at that. And if I go to involve, I click involve at the bottom, it's going to say core kids right here. Look at that. Oh man, that's amazing. And then it just opens right up and it opens up to something amazing. All these little tabs let me get involved in the things that the core kids have going on. I can even see all of the events. I can even see the next core kid Zoom call right here from the app. So make sure that you go and you download that. We've got so many things that we want you to be involved in. The summer of baptisms is just, man, we've been on the news about it. People are learning about what the core group is all over the world. And Jesus is getting glorified. Jesus's name is being lifted high. So we are excited. Can't wait for you all to be able to come to uh, Florida when we get a revival center or core revival center and have our core kids retreats and all the things so get the app on whatever device you want on your iPad or say mom and dad can I see your phone and then ask them permission to be on the, the app first and uh, I will see you in there all right back to where we are Ooh, the wilderness it ain't the land of milk and honey but during this time where Moses was with the Israelites and they had left Egypt and they were traveling to the land that God had prepared for them, there was a lot of things going on. The people started complaining all the time. Moses was getting tired of the people. He was getting frustrated. He was like, one time he was just like, God, just go ahead and kill them all. And then the next thing God was like, yeah, I'm going to. And then he was like, no, don't kill them all. It was a whole thing going on. So I'm reading out of my book, Overcoming Evil. You can get it on Amazon. Everybody go get your copy, have it, keep it. Buy your grandkids the books if you're if your grandma watching, your nephews, your nieces, your kids, whoever, get the book. It's on Amazon. And I'm gonna be reading a story called The Earth Opens Up and Swallows Idol Worshippers. Dun dun dun. That's super intense. The earth opens up and what? This story is coming from um, the story in the Bible and it is from Numbers chapter 16. Numbers chapter 16. And this is what it says. 
uh, it says that, well, I'll give you an overview from my book. Once there were a people who had forgotten about their God, these were the Israelite people. Some of the Israelite people, not all of them. And this certain group of people that forgot about God, they started to worship idols made of gold and silver. And this made God very sad, grieved him, because he wanted the people to love and to worship only him. And he said that to them. You shall have no other gods before you, only me. And so God decided to show his power. He'd already given them a chance. He'd already given them mercy. He'd already given them time to repent and to come to their, to their senses and turn. And they just won't. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. Time after time after time. And God decided that day, I'm going to have to show these people my power. Oh my goodness. Everybody thinks that God is just maybe just giving hugs to everybody in love. But God is a God of justice. God is also a God of judgment. He is a God of love. But he is a God of great power. And so he decided to, to show his power and teach them a lesson. He made the earth open up and swallow those that were worshiping idols. So I want to read you a little bit from um, Numbers chapter 16, because this is pretty wild. And so Moses gets up and he goes over to, the, to um, Datham and Abram and the elders of Israel followed him. And he said to them, to the, all the other good people, the people that love God, that were doing good, he said, everybody move back. Move back away from the tents of the wicked people. So they had their little tent set up and he's like, get all your kids, get all your stuff, get away from their tents right now. Ooh, boy, let me tell you something. I'd be running, be like, bye. And he said, move back from all the wicked men and do not touch anything that belongs to them or you will be swept away because of all of their sin. Court Kids Revival TV. Be careful who you are linking up with. No, nah, some of you older kids didn't get that. Come up a little closer. Bro, dude, kid, whatever you're. Be careful who you are connected to. See, in the Bible, Moses said, don't touch any of their stuff. Don't get close to them. Don't get connected to them. Don't be by them. Don't buddy buddy up with them. This is not soulmate time. This is not BFF season. Get back away from them. He said, or you're going to also get the punishment because of what they're doing in their sinful lives. The Bible says, separate yourself and be holy. You can't be rolling around with people. They're doing witchcraft. They're doing all this stuff. I mean, there's nothing wrong with sharing the gospel and being like, hey, can I just tell you about Jesus? Maybe you have a friend that's going down the wrong path. You don't just want to cut them off and just dip out on them. You can share, share your faith, share your faith, share your faith. But at the end of the day, if they want to become a Satanist, you and them being best friends, that's not going to work. If the two people don't agree, they can't walk together, the Bible says. Can't be buddy buddy with people that are totally against your God and defiling and doing horrible, inappropriate, bad things toward our God. He said, This is how you will know that the Lord do these things and that this is not my idea. That's what Moses said. He said, If these men die from natural causes, like they just get old and they just die regularly, or maybe somebody just gets sick and they pass away, he said, Then you will know God has not sent me. But if the Lord brings about something totally new and the earth opens its mouth and swallows them up and everything that belongs to them and they go down into the grave, then you will know that these men have treated the Lord with contempt, that they are against God. That's what he's saying. As soon as he was finished saying this, the ground underneath them begin, listen, the ground literally splits. <laughs> where they were standing and it opens and the people fall into the ground that is now open the earth opens up and then guess what it swallows it closes back swallows them up and they went down into the grave with everything they owned and the earth closed over them and they perished and they were gone from the community god is not tolerating idolatry 
here's the amazing part. This is what I wrote in my book. God saved the ones that were on his side. Those that were faithful and loved him with all their hearts. God protected them. He didn't allow the earth to swallow them up. He kept them safe. This may be shocking to you, but this is how things happened in the Old Testament before Jesus came to give us forgiveness and extend to us his grace. So now if you mess up, let's say you slip up, you make a mistake. No, you're not going to go outside and the sidewalk's going to open and swallow you up. No, we're living in a different time of the grace of God, but sin can pull you away from the presence of God. It can pull you away from what you're supposed to be doing. Just like those people were pulled away from, from life and living. And you being pulled away, that's just as bad as being swallowed up. It's, it's sometimes even worse to me. The story reminds us that God wants us to put him first in our lives and not worship anything else. God is loving and powerful when we stay close to him. He will always protect us and he will always always take care of us. I want to read you a little story that I wrote about a young boy named Joshua. Joshua had a problem. Some of you have the same problem. Watch. He was addicted to video games. Oh, I see you. Seriously, it was pretty bad. He played video games for over five hours or more a day. And on weekends, sometimes eight to 10 hours, it came before God. Therefore, it was now an idol. One day at church, the pastor started teaching about laying down all the idols. And Joshua thought that only meant statues that people bowed down and worshiped. He suddenly realized that it meant anything, anything that comes before God. That day, he made a choice to start putting God first in everything. That means he had to lay down that video game controller all day long and say, wait a minute, I got to learn about my Jesus today. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth and the earth was, and, and get into your word. You got to switch it up. Some of you, it's all about TV. Some of you, it's all about playing with your friends. Some of you, it's all about whatever. I don't even know. Maybe sports, maybe soccer, maybe football, maybe cheerleading. But God wants you to put him first. He does not want you to have anything that goes up before him. I want everybody to think about one thing right now in your life that you're doing more than praying and reading the Bible. Can you name one thing? I'm sorry? Okay. Yeah, video games, TV, movies. There's a lot. So can you commit today to putting God first? This is what I wrote in my book about how to overcome evil. Idols are anything that comes before God in your life. So for example, it can be like friends. Friends can become idols, toys video games, your phone, a favorite show. We must put God first in our lives because he loves us so much and he wants us to love him back. But when we do everything we want first, we forget about God. I bet it hurts his heart. Start your day off by praying and worshiping and reading your word. This sets the tone of your day by making sure you let God know, hey, God, I will not forget about you. No, how can I? You're, you're amazing. Oh man, you imagine how that feels for God when in the morning you wake up and you're like, good morning, Jesus. And he's like, oh, wow, they really remembered me today. That means so much. You let God know that you love him and that you value him. Some of you right now, God is revealing to you certain idols. I want you to stretch your hands forward on the screen as we begin to pray. Come on, some of you, you, you might be worried. Oh no, what's gonna happen to me? I've got idols. Well, you got idols. The only thing that you need to do right now is just say, I'm not going to put that before God. There's nothing wrong with playing a video game here and there. There's nothing wrong with playing your playing with your friends and having a good time watching that TV show. But if you're doing things way more than you are spending time with God and loving him, 
then we need to make an adjustment today. Stretch your hands forward. Come on up to the screens. Come on, don't be shy. Come on, this is for God. Let's go, let's go. Thank you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just pray right now. I pray for every core kid that is watching, even the parents that are watching, God, that you're convicting hearts right now. And the power of the Holy Spirit is touching those. Father, I pray that you would help your people to lay down all idols, all things that come before you, and that we would turn to you, Jesus, because you are the way, you are the truth, you are the life. Father, we repent. God, we are sorry. We will not go back to those same things. We turn from our evil ways today. We turn from sin of idolatry. We command it to be broken off of our lives in Jesus' name. And we thank you, God, that we put you first. We return to our first love. We love God more than anything and anyone in the whole world. We thank you that you're setting your people free today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. All right, come on. Give yourself a round of applause. Everybody in the family, just start clapping. Even if you're the only one in the living room. Amen. Come on. God is pleased. God is pleased. Listen, we're going to do something really cool now. I know a lot of you love this part. We're going to show you some amazing videos, pictures, artwork, all this different footage that we get from Core Kids every single week. We get more things than we can even show. But I want you to send your stuff into TV at gmail.com and we will go through it and maybe I'll see you at the end of the next Core Kid Revival TV episodes. I'll see you next Saturday, 10 a.m. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you. Mwah. Bye, Core Kids. See ya. Are you love Jesus? <laughs> Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about Jesus? Jesus? Giant on the cross, grass, food on my sick. Praise God! Yes! Yeah. Yeah. You're going to go in the water and come up. Are you ready? Can you plug your nose like this? Alright. We now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Woo!